smaller communities can face major challenges getting their voices heard, especially when it comes to protecting the environment and their natural resources. Just talk to any community activist and they will tell you it's a challenge that can sometimes feel like David versus Goliath. What we have is a crown jewel and this site we judiciously um, protect it. We fight for it. You doesn't have to plan to protect your community, you know, especially when you're born and grew up in your community and it didn't come in. What matters to me is that we can make a difference. So today, we'll be talking with some of these activists as well as the Cropper Foundation to learn about a special program that's been put in place to help empower these activists with the skill sets they need to tell their stories on their terms and become their own best advocates. Trinidad is a real place is brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Trinbagonians can find the joke even in a serious situation. Our sense of humor is second to none. But for every story that may seem unreal, there's another of people who make TNT a better nation. Because we are real people, our dreams are real, and Trinidad is a real place. What you see in behind me here is quarrying. One of the biggest problems we have in our corner. And we have our water shortage because of the quarry. All the fish is dying. The flooding issue that we face really affects the market area in Valencia. We don't even see butterflies in Lupino anymore because they're cutting down the trees, they're cutting down the flowers. So all these, are, all these aspects are hurting our environment, our natural flora and flora, and of course, eventually it will hurt our tourism industry. CSO so Good Environmental Governance is a three-year program that we're running with about 30 communities and NGOs across Trinidad and Tobago to create a network of networks to help better govern the environmental system in Trinidad and Tobago. We had a bunch of criteria put down on paper that looked at their involvement in environmental issues, how long they've been around, the type of people that their group um, works with and we sent it out to people within our network and we asked them to nominate interested groups and the biggest issue for communities is having a say or a seat at the table when it comes to how environmental decisions are made by the policy makers and also the decision makers within Trinidad and Tobago and to do that we're helping to equip them with the confidence but also the skills and capacities to understand what exactly environmental legislation and policy is. We wanted to learn how to better manage leadership roles, better manage activist role, better manage the environment. It is um, a tool that really strengthened me, you know, and in so forth, it, it will bring much fruits, bear much fruits in my community. We've been working with the Lloyd Best Institute for the Caribbean on the setting up of Caribo, which is going to be the first ever citizen journalism environmental news network in Toronto and Tobago and probably the region as well. We help them to identify their own agenda, what is important to them, what they want to say about themselves and their issues and give them the tools, which is writing, media production, whether it's audio or, vis or video, um, and bring to their work the principles of, journal of professional journalism, which is about accuracy, fairness, you know, understanding defamation, libel, all the kinds of things they need to stay out of trouble. It helps you to look at their problems through their eyes, and I think that's an education that I could not have paid for. Communities cannot depend on the media as an institution or as individuals to find their stories and communicate them. I must say, when Suniti Moraj said, Donna, I want you to do an article on Forest Fire, I never did that before. But I dig deep and I was able to write an article. And that was my first venture into writing journalist work. And I must tell you, it was a very proud moment for not only me, but my whole team. In terms of doing videos, first time I done it, I think that I was, I was so excited because I took eight video clips and put it together and make one clip. So I was, I was off the chart, you know? Seeing it being shared so many times, 
you know, was also a very important moment for me. Including communities is really the fundamental way that government and states can achieve the SDGs, which is to leave no one behind. And I think that is my number one bell to ring from my training through governance. It now becomes a great passion. You know, it's not about getting pay or getting recognized. So I got a little confidence now that I could write a letter saying this is what I need because I know this is what the government's supposed to do for us, yeah? So now I, could, I think that we gain confidence, we give a wider knowledge of what we could do, that we could go out and write to our MP, WASA, um, if it's forestry, and tell them, listen, this is what's happening in our community and we need you all to do something about it. Trinidad is a real place was brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited.